Hello, hello, and welcome, welcome back. For today, we're starting off in the beautiful building from last episode. No matter how much I look at this thing, I still just love it. I do feel like it's missing something, but I don't really care. I am so proud of it. Now, if you look around, you'll see that Cactus Tower, well, I haven't worked on it. I mean, I take that back. I fixed this part. It's no longer foul, but... Yeah, I haven't worked on it. In that, I have a very good reason for. I'm lazy. Now, if you come over to the melon and pumpkin farm, we can see I also have not worked on it. That is also because I am lazy. But also because I don't have the materials. That's also a pretty good reason, I think. Now, we look over here, and we can... If I could actually keep my zoom going while I move. We can see that there's a pretty empty space going on here. And that... That's for a very good reason. Today I have planned another build. A build that's actually going to be useful this time. In that build, it's a villager trading hall. Don't get me wrong, the gear... The gear is good. It's all very good. But I keep having to take breaks to repair my pickaxe and my axe and my shovel. And then I go and take a break to enchant my armor. And I still fail to get feather falling on the boots. It's not going too well. That's why today we're going to build a, a trading hall. Now, you may have noticed that I have not yet found another fortress, and that, that's completely intentional. You see, in here somewhere, if I can find it, I have all that we need to do this. Again, that's if I can find it. You know, this is why I need to organize my things. Oh wait, there it is. And then, there's also something else we need. Golden apples. I'm actually going to try three. Four, I guess, actually. Now, typically, you would use one weakness potion per zombie villager. But that, that's wasteful. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to use one weakness potion and hopefully be able to cure four zombies. At the very least, we need to cure two. First, though, we need to eliminate the danger of them despawning. And so, gotta get some names for them. Now, with four incredible names that I doubt you will guess, we can lock them away into a chest where we will later redeem our villagers. Now, I have a, I have something to admit here. A bit of a confession. I haven't made a villager breeder in a long time. Or a hall, for that matter. I mean, yes, I've... I've done it before. It's been a good amount of time though, like, probably at least a year. Maybe even two. Year and a half, two years. I wouldn't go as far as two and a half, but it's been a while. Now, this isn't to say that I don't remember how to do it. It just means I need to remember. But I do have one major roadblock, and that is beds. Breed villagers, you need beds. And also, I don't think they need them in the trade hall but they need beds, which is going to be pretty annoying. The only good thing is that a villager needs to be able to touch their bed to claim it, I'm pretty sure. And so that makes things a little bit easier. I need a wool farm, though. So I'm going to have to go track down some sheep and make a wool farm. We are back, and if you want to see my super high-tech wool farm, here it is. I got lazy and didn't want to make an automatic one. But I've already got 75 wool. I decided to make it green because why not? And so I'm going to get started on the building and then we will get the villagers in. Editor, you are not going to time lapse or montage this building because I want to do it off camera. <laughs> I forgot the building done, and I think I started recording at like 2. It's 5.22 right now, and I still haven't found a zombie villager. Die. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I'm really hoping that I don't need to go and actually find a village. I'm starting to get phantoms, which is not fun. I do think this is a good time to cut in, though. I have finished making villager trading hall building which I finally got to do my circular roof for. It's not 
as circular as I would have liked, but I still got to do it, which I don't think I've gotten to actually make just a circle roof for any builds yet, except kind of the pig thing, but that doesn't really count. And I think I kind of have one on here, unless I decided against it, which I think I did. We got one! Okay, so this is Cranialithum. You can't see the name tag, but it's there. And he is going to not despawn. Oh, I hope the sunlight can't go through slabs. I need to... Finally, I have found a second zombie. So, now we have Cranialithum and Yorlock, the World Eater. I had two more names planned out, but I didn't get to use them. Sorry, Bert and Gorpilock. Now, I can finally cure these two zombies. So, what I need is I need a boat. One, two, three, four, five. That's six. Look at that! Cranialithum is normal! Oh, why is he purple? Oh, your luck's normal now too! They're both- look at that! Okay. F3 and B, don't want to hit one, and... Boom, they're free! Look at that! That's so silly. Comment of the daytime! Why did I do that? That makes a really bad transition. Pow, 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 pow. Comment of the day. Episode 14. Today's comment of the day comes from Grubby Bubblington saying, Pagoda with bees? Pagodies. Nuts. This is just one more example of how my viewers are the most intelligent people on Earth. I don't think anybody could have ever thought of something like that to say. That is, of course, referencing how this was originally going to be for bees, but I don't think that's going to work out now. I can, I can still put bees in here. I just can't automate it. That will be all you get from me today, though, so thank you so much for watching. I hope I see you in the next one. Like and subscribe if you want. Comment. I'll try to remember to link my Discord in the comments this time, because I have been forgetting to do that. Editor. Editor, to transition into... Exit. Adios. Ciao. Au revoir. Adieu. I'm doing this again. I don't know why. Bye.